Hey everyone, welcome back to Will Small Engines. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a engine swap on a push mower. So here are the two mowers we're gonna be, we're gonna be focusing on today. So we're going to swap the green engine onto this deck because this one, believe it or not, it's actually in better shape than that deck. So we'll do a quick walk around the Milan mowers right now and show you guys what kind of shape they're in. So here's the gray one. I was told to fix this one. And since I've done everything I know how to do on this engine, it still won't run correctly. Like it surges and sometimes won't even start. So then I got this cheaper one over here for $20, $20 Canadian, just picked it up after school today. And it runs great. And here's the deck on it. So it's pretty crappy as you can see. You can like cave it in with your foot like that. Um, eh, it's in decent shape. The rear wheels are locked up, um, which kind of sucks to move it around. But anyway, that's fine. And here's the gray one. This one, as you can see, is in better shape right there. And you can't cave it in, and you can't cave it in with your foot. So now let's go on to doing the uh, first step, which is going to be draining the fuel out of the engines. And after we swap this one onto this deck, I'll do an oil change because as you can see, it's pretty, eh, it's, it's okay, but it could use a change. So we'll do that. So first step, I'm gonna drain out all the gas into a drain pan and I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, sorry if this is a bit shaky, but my tripod is too tall to reach over this low. So what we're gonna do first is this is the fuel tank. So we're going to go to the fuel line and loosen the clamp here with our pliers and then pull it off like that and then drain the gas into the container. And we're gonna open this to get more air in there to really let her eat. So I'm gonna do this for both engines and then I'll turn you back on when we're ready to do the next step. Oh, and also make sure that you dispose of your old fluids correctly. So over there on my little table, I have a jug of old oil and gas that I take, take to the dump every so often to empty it out. Okay, so I think we're gonna start with the green one first and the next step after draining all the gas out is going to be tip it on its side and remove the blade. So first, take off the spark plug cap just to make sure that it won't start. That's loose. Hmm, interesting, anyway. So tilt this on its side. And I have a piece of cardboard down in case any oil or whatever starts to leak out. So we're gonna have to remove the blade first. So you can use an impact, or I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use a sock wrench today. It's easier. So let's hold the blade like this and loosen the bolt. I'm gonna get my impact on second thought. Okay, so I have the impact. Now we're gonna remove the blade. I'm gonna get a short socket. All right, let's try it now with the impact. There we go, bolts removed. Take the blade off. And now I have to get this adapter off of here because it won't work with the adapter from that engine. So to get the adapter off, I'm going to use one of these pulley pullers. So to, to use one of these, get the bolt, thread it back in a few threads, and then loosen this all the way. And then hook these around the bottom of, actually right here, it's gonna be okay. So we're gonna basically tighten this thing until it grabs on the bolt head. Then you can usually use a wrench, but this one's coming right off with my hands. So I'm just gonna keep turning this in. Then you can probably loosen the bolt. And then we're gonna see if we can pull it off the rest of the way. And that's gonna be a maybe. I'm gonna use the puller, it's just a bit easier. Anyway, I'll take it off and then I'll show you guys what the next step is. All right, so I got it off and here's just a look at the tool just up close. So yeah, anyway, these are pretty cheap. So I would recommend getting one. one th and one thing I forgot to mention is you're gonna have to remove the pull rope from the little holder here. So it go like that. And then there's a little clip down there. So unhook the cable as well. All right, so after, you, so after you've done all that, 
Now we're going to remove the three bolts holding on the engine. So at the 916 socket, in my case, get that on there and then push down. And these usually come out pretty good, but go slow. So yeah, do this three times and then the engine should fall out. And make sure you hold your hand behind it like this to kind of catch it off when it falls. Okay, so our first engine is now removed and I'm gonna do the other one off camera. And then I'll show you guys how to install the new engine on the other deck and then we'll get it running good and tune it up and all that good stuff. Okay, so I just remembered one thing I should tell you that's really important and that is, so I wanna use this blade and adapter on this deck because it works. So we're gonna to have to keep the blade and the adapter in bolt. So if you're gonna do that, just remember that you keep these parts and don't throw them away. Okay, so after like half an hour of trying to get that blade adapter off, I, I just decided that I'm not going to use it and we're going to use the blade from the John Deere lawnmower because it works. So now I'm going to take the engine off and we're going to put the other engine on this deck. All right, you guys, so I got the old engine off now and now we're going to install the three bolts that hold the new engine on. So um, let me go over here and I'm going to put some Vaseline or grease on the bolts just to help it go in a lot easier. So like this. Kind of spread it around like this, and you don't need a lot. And there we go. Now we're gonna tighten the bolts up, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now, so now we're gonna tighten the three bolts, and then we're gonna use the hand ratchet to just check it at the end. Okay, so I just sharpened the John Deere blade. Now we're going to install the adapter. So again, I'm gonna add a little bit of this grease to make it the adapter go on easier. So don't be afraid to get a lot on there because it's just gonna help it out. So now I'm gonna get the adapter, slide it on. And make sure you line up the keyway to the keyway on the shaft here. That, and that's actually not gonna work for our purpose, so I'm gonna go see if I have a different one that'll work. Okay, so I found out that I had another adapter from a different lawnmower that'll fit on this. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna drain the oil out and then I'm going to install the new blade. And then we're gonna tip it back over and connect the cable and see if it works. So I'll turn you back on when we're ready to connect the cable and add the new oil. Okay, now we're gonna go and pour in the new oil. So it's 20 ounces of 5W30 or 10W30, whatever works for you. The, man the manual says either, either, either will work. And after we're done pouring this in, we're gonna change out this green top cover for the other one so it matches because I don't like the way the green one looks and it's ugly. So take this out of there, get the dipstick. Just gonna wipe it off here. Get the funnel out. Wipe that off. And we'll check it. In. And that's perfect, as you can see there. I spilled a bit of oil, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to degrease this after we're done working on it, but that's no big deal. Next, I'm gonna get my Phillips screwdriver, and then we'll take this screw out of here that holds this on. Get that ugly thing out of the way, and put this much nicer one on. So put that in there. Gotta light up the screws, but it takes me a minute here. Anyway, I'll get it on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty, so next we're gonna do a new spark plug and new air filter. So let's do the spark plug first. So I have the used one that's in good shape. Put that in there. And I noticed this engine also needs a spark plug boot, so we'll take it from the old engine because the old one has one. So we'll put that in there. Then tighten it nice and good. There we go. Now let me get the spark plug boot from the other engine and we're gonna install it on this engine. So there. Actually, I'll take, I'll put it on later. So now we're gonna do the air filter, but give me one second. So the new one's in the packaging, obviously, so unscrew this screw here. And 
and the old one versus the new one. I mean, look at that difference. This is trash. The new one is nice and clean, so we'll put it in there. And next we'll put some gas in it and start it up and see how it runs. So I'll tighten that and then we'll start it up. And I almost forgot to mention, don't forget to hook up your little brake cable here. We're gonna pull it up here, hook it into the first loop, and then go from the back side like this. And there we go, and then try it out. That works good. Now I'm gonna put this thing up to the handle, and then we're gonna start it up. Alrighty, so I poured in the oil, some fresh gas, and now we're gonna give it a startup, and if it, run, and if it runs good, then we're gonna go take it to the lawn or street and then wash it off. So, a bunch of primes. Oh, and I also and I also installed the spark plug boot. Let's see how it cuts. it off this thing is pretty disgusting all right you guys so i got my favorite degreaser here not sponsored i just really like this one it works pretty good so now what i'm gonna do is go around the whole lawnmower and spray it off and then we're gonna rinse it off and they also got this brush here to agitate the degreaser to help get the dirt off the top right there okay so now i've i sprayed the whole lawnmower with the degreaser now i'm gonna spray it off with the hose All right, so now that it's all stick and span, washed off, let's see how it restarts. Some primer, one, two, three. There is some water in the muffler that probably got in there. Might need to bleed it out a bit. Alright you guys, so that's going to do it for this episode on how to engine swap a lawnmower. So if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you think I deserved it, maybe even give it a subscribe. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great weekend.